Five Seconds Flat is the brand new album from Lizzie McAlpine, who I'm so happy to have join us. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. I'm really <laughs> excited to talk to you. Yeah. How are you? How is tour? I'm good. Tour has been long and hard, but um, but it's been good. I've been watching your vlogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you have time to vlog? And I honestly don't the know. <laughs> I don't know. It's cool to like capture the moments uh, and look, be able to look back on them. Yeah. For sure. I'm do very. You, do nostalgic. you plan those out? How spontaneous are those? Um, I mean, I planned to vlog at the at the top of tour. And then finding the actual moments to like pull out the camcorder has been harder because I want to, you know, be present and live in the moment. But I also want to capture the moment. So it's been difficult. But yeah, it's, it's a it's a quandary for those that want to document their lives yeah. and you don't have somebody following you around. Right. <laughs> Not <laughs> need, yet, at least. You need a documentarian to follow right, right. you. <laughs> Again, I got to hand it to you because like I... I don't know, I'm a little bit more of a private person, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. it takes a lot for me, well, not a lot, but it takes some work to, you know, get stuff out of me. And, yeah. you know, for others, it's good to get those emotions out. Yeah. When you're writing songs and creating lyrics that are just so vulnerable, where do you find the, the, the strength and the confidence to say, yes, this is Yeah, this is I mean, honestly, I don't really think about that when I'm writing. I kind of just write the songs and they're usually just like a piece of my like soul that goes into the songs and I, I don't necessarily think about what other people are going to think of them at first obviously like when I'm releasing them I'm like oh god like is this too much like did I share too much of myself in the song or like stuff like that but honestly it's it's kind of fun <laughs> like it's kind of fun to just bare my soul for like a bunch of people to see and I also feel like people can relate more to that if I if I do it that way. There's some level of satisfaction too when others yeah. reach out yeah. and say, I'm feeling this too, or I just went through yeah, this. Yeah, for and sure. Yeah. Are there any songs in which that have just struck a chord with that many people that took you by surprise where you're like, oh, I didn't intend for that, but great. Um, I don't know, I can't think of one off the top of my head. I mean, my song Pancakes for Dinner on, on my first album definitely was like a, what? <laughs> 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 I just think that like, it's interesting how many people have resonated with that song. I mean, obviously I resonated it. I wrote it at some point. I was feeling those feelings at some point, but like so many people have come up to me and been like, this is me and my partner's like first date song. And we like fell in love to the song or like, this is how I told them that I like them. Like, it's just very important to a lot of people. And it was really surprising. And on the flip side, you do a little video of you ruined 19, the 1975 <laughs> yeah. and that just explodes. Yeah. And it seems to be something that many have started to share or been sharing in terms of a relationship gone bad. Mm -hmm. And then they talk about how that person ruined the, their favorite artist. Yeah. How true is that? And are you able to I mean... listen to chocolate? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love the 1975. Um, so they're not ruined forever. But yeah, I, th I think it's, it's interesting how like, I feel like TikTok especially, if you post something on there and like, it's always the things that I don't expect people to really like that like do well on that platform. It's so interesting and I have no idea how to like navigate that, that um, algorithm at all. Like I have no idea, it's so random. But uh, they definitely were not ruined forever. <laughs> oh good, I'm, I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> they're an amazing band, right? Yes. And they got new stuff coming out and yeah, yeah, yeah. I would hope that you would want to take a listen. Yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> With this new album, it, it's really a new chapter. It definitely is, yeah. So as you were going through that journey as a 16 year old, 19 year old, yeah. now 22, how do you see your sound has, has changed and evolved? What, it, it's definitely... I don't know. The last album was very much in the in the um, indie folk acoustic singer songwriter genre, and that was definitely who I was as an artist as I was making it. Um, but what it's been like, couple, like two years since I wrote those songs, so I feel like I'm a completely different person just in general and also as an artist now. Um, so this new album is very different. It's it sounds more mature, I think, in the production and also in the songwriting itself. I just feel like the way that I reflect on like situations that I wrote about in my last album, like Heartbreak, just the way that I think about it now is so different from the way that I thought about it then. And I feel like you can really tell in this, in this new album. 
it's very telling because yeah. how you handle heartbreak as a 16 year old, 20 year old and 22 year old. It's going to be very different. Are so different. <laughs> yeah. But yet as an artist, you still have that perspective of not exaggeration, but just yeah. being like totally emotional about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Did you, did you just pour it all out or was, were there times to restrain and um, not get I definitely, to? I feel like I always just like put it all in there. I never really try to restrain myself. When it comes to writing about that kind of stuff, I just, it's just hard for me too. I just, if I feel a feeling, like I let it out. Like I can't, I can't hold it in. So yeah, it's, it's uh, been. So this new album, you have some notable collaborators. Yes. They approach you, you approach them. Um, and we are talking about Phineas, of course. Mm -hmm. And then there's Ben Kessler. And yes. Um, so Ben and Laura are my friends. I've been friends with them. For a while and so I just reached out to them and I was like would you want to be on these on these tracks and they were like yes for sure um, with Phineas it was different because he kind of seemed a little bit like untouchable like I was like oh he's like famous famous I don't know if I could just reach out and DM him because that's how I meet most people I literally just DM them on Instagram um, and we follow each other we'd follow each other and we would talked a couple times at first I was like deciding whether or not to go through his manager or just to DM him. Um, and then I was like, I'm just gonna DM him because that's just what I've done. And I DM'd him and like within five minutes, he was like, yes, like send me the song, here's my number, like it was crazy. And then I sent him the song and he was like, this is the best thing I've ever heard. And I was like, what is going on? It was really crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, it was, it was pretty insane. Wow. Yeah. I'm sure you were expecting a no. Well, I don't know. Honestly, like when I DM people, I, I don't, have any expectations. I'm literally just like, I'm gonna shoot my shot because what is the, like, what is the worst that could happen? The worst that, can ha that could happen is he's like, sorry, like, no, So no. you got Phineas, yeah. Phoebe Bridgers, Taylor Swift. <laughs> right, right. Others are on the list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, when I listen to other songs on the album, obviously All My Ghosts has been resonating with so many people yeah. and congrats on that. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Erase Me is another one which, you know, is, is just so, I don't know, just, tears me apart mm. um, are there songs in which were difficult to put on this album you, you you've been very coy in terms of like oh yeah I'm, I'm super vulnerable everything yeah. just goes out there yeah. I'm sure there's got to be some that were just like on the fence I mean definitely there's one song well there's a couple but there's one that was like the last song I wrote for the album it was like two weeks before the deadline and um, it's called nobody likes a secret and that one was like very hard for me to write. It took a really long time for me to like, from what it's about, it took me like a year to be able to write it. And then I kind of made the decision to put it on the album very impulsively. I was like, it feels like it belongs in the story. Um, but now that it's like actually about to come out, I'm like a little bit nervous, <laughs> just a little bit, but I don't know. It's kind of exciting also. Because of the specific specificity yeah of the of yeah the, of it's the just lyrics. like yeah yeah yep <laughs> i can imagine yeah it's a little nerve-wracking but um, do do the people in your life that you do write about know ahead of time um most times yeah with this song no <laughs> so <laughs> that's why i'm a little nervous about it but i've never had like someone that i've written a song about be like take it down like right you know. right right so you're First album, Give Me a Minute. Mm -hmm. This album, Five Seconds Flat. Some references to time here. Yeah. I honestly was, I did not plan that. It just kind of like happened that way. Um, but I feel like it makes sense to me at least. I mean, the first one was very much like, Give Me a Minute is like, I need time to like, I need space and time to process things. And I feel like that album is very much reflective of, of that theme of like taking space and and, and processing. And this one is five seconds flat, meaning like life can change in five seconds flat. Anything can happen in five seconds flat. And like that really has felt like my life over the period of time that I've written this album and recorded it and produced it. Like just felt like my life has changed in five seconds flat so many times. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like it makes sense um, now. It's, it's interesting that I didn't like plan the time related titles, but it's also, it makes sense now. It makes a lot of sense yeah. to me now too, yeah. <laughs> because I think all of us have felt like that. Yeah. Literally the world changed in yeah. such a short period of time. Yeah. 
Well, congratulations. Thank you. On the album. Thank you. It is so good and <laughs> really appreciate your time. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. It is Lizzie McAlpine and you're watching B-Sides. Mm -hmm.